and I'm pouring it into the sprouts. I actually don't care if I boil these sprouts to the point of hurting the myrosinase because I'm going to add mustard to it. So there it is. It's going to sit at 70 plus or even higher temperature for as long as it's needed. After that, I'm going to grind it up with a rolling pin uh, on my cutting board right there so that um, I blend it with the mustard and the mustard um, has at least 45 minutes to react the, the myrosinase and the mustard would react with the glucoraphanin in the sprouts and that reaction to make sulforaphane takes about 45 minutes. So this is going to sit here for 10 minutes and I don't care if it is hotter than it needs to be and it's killed the myrosinase in the process because I'm putting this in a savory dish, not in a smoothie. So it's going to get mustard added to it. I'm going to drain it, put it on that cutting board and roll it with my rolling pin. So it gets smooshed. So the cell walls break and the myrosinase from the mustard I'm adding to it get to react with the glucoraphanin in the sprouts and I'm going to leave it in a bowl for at least 45 minutes so the reaction completes the conversion to sulforaphane. So and then I'm going to add it to pasta which means I need to really not go overboard with the mustard so that's that's kind of a you know hard balance for me to make I'm not putting it in a sandwich so let's see how it goes. <laughs> 